Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. This video we are going to discuss mind test 2.2c. So question number one, calculate the value of each of the following operation. State your answer in standard form. So for question A, just uh, multiply these two number and for this number we use law of indices. So 5 plus 2, so the final answer will be 14.8 times 10 to the power of 7. This is not in standard form, so change this to standard form. It become 1.48 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 7. So the final answer will be 1.48 times 10 to the power of 8. 8 here is actually 1 plus 7. Next, question B. So 7.5 and 5 in a bracket. Times 10 to the power of negative 3 plus negative 6 equals to 37.5 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Change this to standard form. So it becomes 3.75 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. So, the final answer will be 3.75 times 10 to the power of negative 8. 1 plus negative 9 equals to negative 8. So, for question C, 6.3 times 4.0 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 2 equals to 25.2 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, change this to standard form. Become 2.52 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 7. So the final answer will be 2.52 times 1 plus 7 equals to 8. Next, for question D, 5.3 times 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 plus 5. So, this is the answer. So change this to standard form. 2.12 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 2. So, the final answer will be 2.12 times 10 to the power of Next, for question E, so this is divide, so divide this two number and for this we minus the power. So it becomes 0 0.57 times 10 to the power of 2. So this is not in standard form. Change this to standard form. It becomes 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Next, the answer will be 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Question F. So, divide this to a number. And negative 2 minus negative 5. So, this is the final answer already in standard form. Next, for question G, 5.9 divided by 2, 5 minus 2. Okay, so this is the final answer. So here, 5 minus 2 is 3. So no negative here. Sorry for this. So change this to 3. 
Okay, for H, 2.58 divided by 0 0.3 times 10 to the power of 4 minus negative 4. So, this is the final answer. So, settle question number 1. Next, question number 2. The mobile swimming pool measures 305 cm times 183 cm times 56 cm. Calculate the maximum volume of water that it can hold in liters. State your answer in standard form and correct to four significant figures. So first we have to Find the, the volume of the mobile swimming pool. So, this is the, uh, the solution. The formula of getting volume length time height, uh, length time width time height. So, this is the answer in cm cubic. Okay, cm cubic. So, actually, 1 liter, since the question asks in liter, 1 liter is actually equals to 1000 centimeter cube. So, change this to liter, it become 3125.64 uh, 3, liters. So, this is not in standard form. So, we change this to standard form. It becomes 3.126 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay. This one, uh, we have to uh, leave or give answer correct for significant figures. So, this is for significant figures. Right. So next question number three. Shazwani wants to transfer two terabyte of data to pen drive with a capacity of two gigabytes. What is the minimum number of two gigabyte pen and drive needed? So. Era is this and giga is this. So this one we you can find it in your textbook. So two tera because Shazwani want to transfer two terabytes. So two terabytes equals to two times ten to the power of twelve, which is this value. And thirty two gigabyte equals to two times 10 to the power of 9. You have 9 zeros, so times 10 to the power of 9. So, minimum number of pen drive needed. Just divide these two number because this is uh, the data that Shazwani want to transfer to 32 gigabytes pen drive. So, equals to 62.5. So we round off to whole number. So really, minimum number of pen drive needed is 63. Okay, if 62, if your answer is 62, not enough. Okay, so the, the minimum number of pen drive needed is 63. Next, question number 4. Given 1 millimeter equals to 10 to the power of negative 3 meter, and 1 micrometer equals to 10 to the power of negative 6 meter. State 1 millimeter in micrometer. So we have to, you have to divide these two number. So this is the answer. So thank you. That's all for this video and see you in the next video.